Why did German hand grenades in World War I and World War II have a strange shape that was completely different from the grenades used by the Allied forces? The reason for this lies in the original purpose for which each bomb was designed and its operational mechanism. The oval-shaped bombs used by the Allied countries, known as Mills bombs after their inventor, the English engineer William Mills, were defensive grenades. Soldiers in trenches and bunkers would throw them at the attacking enemy forces. These bombs were specifically intended for use against infantry soldiers. Their mechanism relied on a controlled explosion, releasing a large number of shrapnel and sharp fragments at high speed, effectively killing and injuring enemy soldiers. On the other hand, the German grenades, called Stielhandgranate, or the potato masher by the Allied forces, were primarily assault grenades designed for use against soldiers inside bunkers. They did not rely on shrapnel but instead utilized the force of the shock wave from the explosion itself to kill and injure enemy soldiers. The long wooden handle found on German hand grenades acted as a lever, significantly increasing the soldiers' throwing range and accuracy. While a Mills bomb could be thrown a distance of approximately 14 meters, the Stielhandgranate could reach a distance of 37 meters. Moreover, German grenades were not limited to attacking infantry soldiers only. It was possible to attach multiple explosive charges to a single wooden stick using a tight wire, allowing for effective use against lightly armored vehicles and tanks. It proved to be a highly efficient weapon in this regard. To enhance the destructive capabilities of German grenades and improve their efficiency, a fragment firing component was added towards the end of World War II, similar to the Allied bombs. Of course, each type of bomb had its own advantages and disadvantages. German grenades stood out from Allied bombs due to their longer range, greater explosive power, and versatility in targeting various targets. However, a disadvantage was the difficulty in carrying and transporting a large number of them due to their size. Additionally, it took longer to prepare a Stielhandgranate for use compared to the Mills bomb, as it required unscrewing the metal cap beneath the wooden arm before throwing it, similar to unscrewing a bottle cap, while preparing a Mills bomb only required pulling the safety fuse and then throwing it. It's worth noting that the Germans not only produced wooden stick bombs, but also manufactured oval-shaped hand grenades resembling those used by the Allies. These grenades, known as Eierhandgranate, relied on shrapnel and were solely used for defensive purposes.